Now, the fourth series of Merlin comes to our screens tonight, this time round. Things get a whole lot darker. We sent Mike to meet the cast, but he got a little more than we were bargaining for. I strode into Camelot wearing my chainmail with pride. It's more important than ever to be a team player this year because Arthur now has the Knights of Camelot to support him. Well, at first, it was a tall order getting noticed. Once the food and wine flowed, I really started to feel like I was one of the boys. <laughs> but someone had other ideas and was determined to change me into someone more sinister. In series four, Morgana is hell-bent on destroying anyone who might disrupt her plans. And she wasn't going to miss this chance to persuade me to join her cause. Come sit at my round table. It's so much more fun being bad. She'd left me with a dilemma. But luckily, I was able to turn to someone in the same boat as me. Ah, it's the Mike of the Bushel. How goes this with that? Making his debut in the series, it's Arthur's uncle, Agravain, also caught in that tussle between good and evil, as the plot lines turn more sinister. We've had three years of that audience getting older. The younger ones are still being enticed, and the older ones are going, OK, we've grown up a bit, we need something a bit more, a bit darker, and that's what they've got. I needed some thinking time, but I wasn't alone for long. I'd been rumbled. Whoa, whoa, Sir Michael of breakfast. What's this? Uh, Your Highness, I, I don't know what to say. Um, she's just so, so persuasive. Still smoke and mirrors, my friend. Send him to my office. And you don't argue with Arthur now that he's got his knights to back him up. It's given Arthur a chance to have a bit of camaraderie with his, uh, with his fellow knights, and myself as well, offset. Um, so that's been, you know, a fantastic kind of uh, element to this year. That we all get on really well. Do we? So it kind of, well, sometimes, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Are you sure about that? I guess the banter could get pretty fierce. You need that camaraderie just to get through the physical challenges facing the knights every day. I am more than capable with the lance. My trusty steed obeys my every command. And I carried myself with great dignity in front of the prince. So, buddy, what sort of things have been different about this? Ah! Uh, anyway, uh, back to our story and an insight into what's in store if I get in with the wrong crowd. This series, certainly the, the, the two-part opener is, is quite uh, unnerving. It plays on a sort of the old childhood fear of, of, um, of the dark and what could be lurking in the dark. And so it was that the wise words of a young wizard finally brought me to my senses. If there's one thing that might sway it, come on outside's a better football team. Really? Well, why didn't you say so earlier? I got magic in me. Those outfits don't look ideal for the football. Just to let you know, uh, quite a few of the cast coming in later. Merlin will be here, the evil Morgana, and uh, some knights who are somewhere uh, watching the rugby a little later on. We're told they're big rugby fans, but they've